Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we're going to solve this problem, okay? So uh, this is a problem. Implement the following counter using D flip-flop. So you have to uh, implement a counter using D flip-flop and this is the counter problem, alright? So we are moving from green to yellow, then from yellow to red, then from red to yellow, and then eventually from yellow to green again, okay? So in this problem, as you can see, there is no numbers given, okay? So you can see that it is completely a text-based problem. That means we are seeing words here. We, get we are getting words here. We are not getting any kind of bits or numbers numbers here we're only getting some words here so we're moving from green to yellow yellow to red red to yellow and eventually from yellow to green again so if we want to say uh, if we want to uh, solve this problem we have to uh, we have to do something that can uh, that allows us uh, to convert these words into bits right that means uh, we have to convert these words into binary bits so once we're done with that part then we can move on to the further part right so at first we have to convert these words into binary bits all right so to do that uh, we need to find out how many different combinations are there in this question so as you can see we have three different combinations one is green another is yellow and another one is red okay so we are getting three different combinations in these questions now we have to think uh, we have to think about that how many bits do we need to represent three different combinations so as you know that if you uh, if you uh, if you get n number of bits then you are uh, basically getting 2 to the power n number of combinations alright so if there is n number of bits then uh, you are getting 2 to the power n number of combinations so since there are three different combinations so you cannot use one bit because if you use one bit then you will be getting only two different combinations right but if you use two bits then you will be getting four different combinations so it's quite clear that to represent three different combinations we cannot use one right we cannot use one bit so to represent three different combinations we have to use at least two different combinations all right so we have to use two different combination uh, we have to use two bits all right we have to use two bits so if you want to represent three different combinations we have to use two bits all right so if we use two bits then we'll be getting uh, four different combinations and among f those four we can use the three uh, as we need and just uh, keep the rest out uh, of our uh, equation all right so here as you can see so if i write down four different combinations then the combinations would be zero 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 one one zero and one one so we'll need only three different combinations so we'll be using zero 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 one and one zero and we're keeping uh this out this one one part here we were not considering it since as we don't need it we only need three combinations we are using the first three combinations now uh, here as you can see that green is represented as zero zero yellow is represented as zero one and red is represented as one zero these representation are uh, complete are uh, these representations are completely based upon assumptions that means you could assume that green could be zero one instead of zero zero or yellow could be one zero instead of zero one or red could be zero zero instead of one zero all right so these are based upon pure assumptions okay so it doesn't always have to be like that okay you just need to represent three different combinations uh, based upon uh, three different numbers all right so uh, another one uh, another argument could be that why did i use zero 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 one one zero i could use zero one one zero and one one and ignore the zero zero part right yeah if you wanted you could actually do that uh, but uh, but conventionally uh, we are uh, more likely to take the first three rows right so that's why i considered zero 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 one and one zero and ignored the one one part all right that's it so once you are done with the representation part then you can build the uh, present state next state and flip-flop inputs part so uh, you will be building the state table here so in the state table as usual we are having uh, present state next state and flip-flop inputs so if i just mark those words using the numbers okay so then green would be zero zero yellow would be zero one 
uh, red would be 1 0 okay so yellow is 0 1 and green is 0 0 so you're seeing that if the present state is 0 0 then the next state is 0 1 if the present state is 0 1 then next state is 1 0 if the present state is 1 0 then next state is 0 1 and if the present state is 0 1 then the next state would be 0 0 all right so here as you can see we are using uh, two variables in the present states okay so why did you use two uh, variables because uh, we are actually uh, using two bits here as you can see that green yellow and red all are represented using two bits all right so this is a two bits problem so that's why we're using two variables in the present state part and we're using two variables in the next state part and we're using uh, two flip-flops in the flip-flop inputs part and we're using d flip-flop so there is only one input in d flip-flop so basically for two flip-flops we are getting two different inputs all right However, here as you can see in the present state, there is a separate input. There is an external input which is written as x. So why do we uh, consider x in our present state? All right. So this is because uh, if you take a look at this problem, you can see uh, that from 0, 0, we are moving to 0, 1. From 0, from 1, 0, we are moving to 0, 1. All right. However, from 0, 1, we are moving to 1, 0 at one point and we are moving to we are moving to sorry let me just move it so for 1 0 we are moving to 1 0 at one point and for uh, sorry for 0 1 we are moving to 1 0 at one point however at another point we are moving to 0 0 all right so as you can see from 0 1 we can go to two separate places it could be either 1 0 or it could be 0 0 so how can we determine where we want to go we can determine it based upon an, an external input okay so this X will be working as that external inputs now take a look at the overall uh, table all right so for 0 0 okay for 0 0 you can see there are two different rows for 0 0 right so where uh, there are two different states because the external input is zero in one case and one in another case however from zero zero as you can see okay so let me just rewrite all those values again from zero zero you can only move to one different combinations okay from zero zero you can only move to zero one you don't uh, have to move to any other combinations from 0 0 okay uh, from 0 0 you can only move to one different state so that's why if the present state is 0 0 it doesn't matter what your input is you will always be moving to 0 1 all right now take a look at uh, 1 0 part here okay from 1 0 you can only move to 0 1 and this is the only possible transition given in the question so for 1 0 it doesn't matter whether the input is 0 or input is 1 then you will always move to 0 1 all right however if you uh, take a look at if you take a look at uh, a different combination that means 0 1 so from 0 1 you can either move to 1 0 or from 0 1 you can move to 0 0 so from 0 1 you can actually move to two different states all right so here as you can see from 0 1 if the input is 0 then we are moving to one state and if it's 1 uh, if the input is 1 then we are moving to another state so that means that for 0 if the present state is 0 1 we are moving to uh, uh, another state based upon either 0 or 1 so if the input is 0 then we are moving to a specific state however if the input is 1 then we are moving to the other state all right so that is the significance of this external input so this external input is basically helping us to choose where we want to move from 0 1 all right in case of the other combinations the 0 0 or 1 0 we can only move to one different combination we can only move to one different state right so that's why it didn't matter whether the input is 0 or 1 we always move to the uh, we always move to one state okay however in case of 0 1 if the input is 0 we are moving to one state and if the input is 1 then we are moving to a different state alright so hope you understand the significance of x now and 
in case of 1 1 as you can see this 1 1 state was not even into consideration for this problem right we only needed the first three combinations we didn't need 1 1 since this is a state that is not given in the question now remember our previous tutorial all right so in the previous tutorial we saw that if there is a state that is not given in the question then we can uh, move to the initial state if we want or we can use don't cares so here we are using don't cares and if you want if you want you could move to the initial state so based upon this question the initial state would be zero zero right so we assume that green would be zero zero so the initial state would be zero zero so you could actually put zero zero here all right and zero zero here however we followed the other way here so this state was not present in the question so we just used don't cares okay so then uh, we are uh, completing the flip-flop inputs part so in case of the flip-flop inputs we are using two flip-flops uh, and two d flip-flops that means two different inputs one for a and another one for b okay d a and db and we'll be uh, completing those columns based upon the excitation table of d flip-flop all right so just uh, follow the excitation table and follow the same rule and complete these both uh, call both of these columns and remember uh, in the last two rows the next states were actually don't cares so in case of flip-flop inputs you won't be able to write them from the excitation table so just use don't cares here okay so that's it so once you are done with the flip-flop inputs then you build the k maps so you have to build the KMFs based upon the present states all right so the present states are actually only a and b however in this problem there is an external input which is x so all of these three variables will be considered as the inputs for your KMFs all right so in the KMFs uh, you will be using a b x as your inputs so you will uh, follow the same sequence as your table and you will build the KMFs and put ones and don't cares where required and then do the groupings and eventually you will get some equations so uh, once you get the equations then you can eventually build the circuit based upon those equations so here as you can see the circuits are drawn all right so once you get those equations then you can build the circuit based upon those equations so here uh, let me clear up one more thing so some might say that uh, this x uh, could be written on the left side instead of the right side right so this since this is an external input we could actually write it in the left side instead of the right side all right like here yeah so the answer is that it is absolutely possible but if you write it like that then your k maps would follow a uh, different input pattern then you cannot write it as a b x rather you would have to write it is uh, as x and a b all right so this would be x a b 2 all right so just follow the pattern you are following in the uh state table all right so whatever pattern you are following in the state table you should follow the same pattern as the input for the k map all right so here we are using x on the right side so the pattern is a b x that's why we are using the same pattern in the k maps so hope you understand and again this same question can be given using a different flip flop so d flip flop uh may not uh, be present in the exam questions so it could be jk flip-flop or it could be sr flip-flop or it could be t flip-flop it doesn't matter all right so it could be any of the flip-flops so just practice this question using other flip-flops too all right and another one uh, another query could be that in case of this question we are saying that we are moving from yellow to red and again from yellow to green so if there is another state okay so if there is another state that means uh, from yellow now you are moving to two different state uh, however if you moved to three different states or maybe from or maybe four different states from yellow then you cannot uh, complete this question complete the solution using only one external input because only one external input if you use only x right so if you use only x then it gives you two different combinations right since uh, you only needed two different combinations that's why uh, you used only one external input however if you need to go to three different states or four different states then you cannot use only one external input in that case you will have to use 
two external inputs all right that means you could use x and y then you would get four different combinations and for four different combinations you could actually move to three or four different states all right so you have to uh, understand the question and you have to change your table accordingly all right so hope everyone understand uh, ho so hope everyone understands this problem all right so let me know if you have any queries regarding this uh, question in the comment box so thank you very much